think he does too. Yeah, we can. Good morning. Happy birthday. Your hair looks good. You get a phone. I do. Happy birthday. Thanks. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whatever you're on. We need more people to roll with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all you Don't please. Somebody forgot their backpack. No, I didn't. I didn't. Just come on. <laughs> you do have your backpack. Let's talk about life. It's Wednesday. I did not sleep well last night, like at all. I think I slept maybe an hour and a half. I don't know, the older I get, the more common these sleeping habits go, where I just have like one night a week where I just cannot, I can't do it. And even if I take melatonin, it doesn't even work. It's weird. It is really weird. But we're here, it's Wednesday. Uh, as you saw with Skylar's birthday, she got a cell phone. Um, Della has had kind of a hard transition of figuring out. Because I feel like at four, that's when you like first realize it's your birthday. But she had a hard... Um, well, first of all, she didn't sleep either. I should not have that. And then she got up with me at 6 a.m. to decorate the table and put out gifts. So, we should probably start by saying that. Um, and then I noticed um, she had zero desire to go to school today and I don't know why. And I think it maybe her routine's off and she's trying to understand that it's somebody else's birthday, not hers, after her birthday was eight days ago. So I, I was like trying to pick my battles. Do I send her and it be a traumatic situation or do I listen to what she's saying and keep her here? And I listened to what she was saying and I kept her here only to realize she's only four her routine's off, she did not sleep well. And I let her teacher know all this. I said, Mark, it's time for a sick day, but we're not actually sick. We're here. Um, but it's also my other daughter's birthday and we're trying to understand that it's somebody else's day now. It's hard when their birthdays are that, that close at four years old. So um, she's here with me. And then I'm like, am I giving in to a situation? Am I enabling her to want to be not in school. I don't know. It's a hard parenting. You, I, I try to juggle it as best I can, but I said, you're going on Monday. You have to promise me that. And she did. Now, on Wednesday, that day is going to be easy because I'm helping her at her Halloween party. She's going to go. She'll want to go to school then. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we're doing today. So now my day has been a little bit thrown off. My original schedule and plan of doing things is a little skewed. However, logistically, this works out so much better for me because I can now pick up Jet and Skylar from school, take Skylar back here, have her brush her teeth really well, and then take her to the orthodontist um, at three. She was going to have to sit there for like 15, 20 minutes by herself while I ran and got Della from preschool. Now she doesn't have to do that. So that is kind of nice, that little way aspect. And then Sienna, she doesn't need to be picked up until later because she has some type of audition today after school. So I think she's not going to get done until like 3.45 or 3.30. So we'll figure that out later. I'm also taking in the fact that Jet doesn't have any sports tonight. So my evening's pretty clear, which is great because I told you guys how he has an AR goal to meet by next Friday. And I'm trying to get him there. He read a book with me last night. Um, I think it was 102 pages, but it wasn't a big book. Like it wasn't, it was an easy read. Um, so hopefully he tested on that and 
he got the point for that but he needs like 10 points and I said I can get you there we can do this together but um, this week is good because we have nothing in the evenings I think it took us maybe 35 minutes to sit down and read it maybe 45 to sit down and read it together so yeah We'll do that again tonight. Um, after our Chipotle dinner, my mom and dad are gonna stop by and bring Skylar some gifts. One, I believe, is a phone case. One of the gifts, so she needs that. Yeah, and then we're gonna keep rolling. But I'm gonna keep you up to date because it's been, I don't think I've talked to you guys yet today. And now it's like 12.30, so I'll be back. Can you see anybody? You're supposed to be sick, Della. What? You're supposed to be sick, remember? We skipped school. Yes, I'll come. So we're back. Hi! They're full of something. <laughs> Birthdays. Happy birthday. Thanks. She um, has to get go. to a dentist appointment. Yeah, but they <laughs> said she gets a present. Yeah, I get a present. It's probably gonna be like a toothbrush. Yeah. Yay! So, yay! All right, everyone get out. I feel like the yeah. leaves are finally starting to change and I love it. They're getting really pretty. Then it's fall time? Yeah, it's fall time. She dropped Skylar off at her orthodontist appointment. Her dad is picking her up at 3.30 to take her birthday shopping. But right now, we are on our way to go pick Sienna from school. I wanna go shopping. I know you do. Oh, it is pretty. Mm -hmm. um, it feels sturdy. It's now 824. Uh, my parents left and then Jet and I sat down and read a book together to try to get him to his goal. I told you guys about that yesterday. Um, Skylar said that she wanted sweatpants. So now I'm down here looking for sweatpants. But I wanted to say good night to you all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. You have a great Thursday. This week's one fair.